Breaking at four, another bombshell in the murder case of 11-year-old Josue Flores. The Harris County District Attorney's Office announced a short while ago they do not have enough evidence to proceed to a trial for Andre Timothy Jackson. However, attorneys say Jackson remains a suspect, but he will be released from jail. Flores was stabbed to death back in May of 2016. And today there are new questions surrounding the ongoing investigation. Channel 2's Sion Rose just got out of a news conference. She's live downtown with the latest. Sion. And it was a stunning news conference that we heard just a short time ago. Now, after one year, two different arrests, Houston police and the Harris County DA's office are back where they started with no one in custody for Josue Flores' murder. They announced today that they are dropping the charges against 27-year-old Andre Jackson and that he is expected to be released from the Harris County Jail at some point this evening. Investigators had said Jackson was the person seen in surveillance video running along Fulton Street shortly after Flores was killed. They said he admitted that that was him in the video. He was, in fact, the second person arrested and charged in Josue's murder. The first man, you may remember, was cleared after it turned out his alibi checked out. And now the DA's office says they do not have the evidence they need to prove their case against Andre Jackson in court. We had been waiting for the better part of a year for the outcome of the DNA evidence in an effort to link him to the homicide. The results of the DNA and the blood analysis are at best inconclusive and in some respects exclude him as a suspect in the case. Now, despite that, the DA's office still saying they do consider Jackson to be a suspect. We just got a statement from HPD Chief Art Acevedo, and he says, quote, at the time of the arrest, our homicide investigators developed sufficient probable cause to obtain an arrest warrant for Mr. Andre Jackson for the murder of Josue Flores. The evidence submitted to the DA's office and charges filed on that suspect. Following today's announcement, those charges are being dropped. We are now looking at this case as an ongoing murder investigation and will devote whatever resources are needed to bring closure to the Flores family. Our homicide detectives believe then and continue to believe that Mr. Jackson is the suspect in this case. Now, we also heard from Jackson's defense attorney. He says he is not surprised by the outcome of this case and does not think his client should be considered a suspect or should ever be arrested. We're going to hear more from him coming up later in the newscast. Reporting live downtown, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.